Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do, this is a long card, <laughs> so um, I don't know how long this is going to take or whether I'll end up doing a voiceover for this, but I thought why not, it's Christmas, let's have some fun doing this, my live not live things. So hopefully you can hear me okay, and obviously if it goes wrong, we'll just do a voiceover. <laughs> so, so I have all these parts and pieces that I've cut out and we're going to do a little bit of colouring and stuff like that but I have the little pickup by Honeybee Stamps um, I've yet, no I have used this once on a Halloween card this year, 2021 I'm pretty sure I did yeah I think it's one of my favourite cards of the year because I got real distressy and like pasty <laughs> anyway <laughs> I digress so I'm going to use a couple of images from that um, and then I'm going to either hand cut it or use my scan and cut just to cut the images out. I'm literally going to use the presents I thought would be cute and the truck. So super simple. I'm also going to use sentiment from Holiday Helpers. Um, and this is a lawn fawn stamp set. And there's a little one in here that's somewhere that says you're on my nice list. So I thought I'd do Merry Christmas with that underneath. I thought that was cute because there's presents in the back of the truck and stuff. <laughs> And then the dies that I've used are the Honeybee Stamps Gingerbread House add-on. I've used these two ca candy canes. Candy canes, hello. Uh, from the Little Pickup Paper Piecing set. So this is like the die version of the, the uh, stamps. I'm using the tree. For our, this is Lawn Fawn, because uh, I don't have it labelled, <laughs> Stitched Hillside Landscape. I want to say. I'm just using this main piece here. And then from the Lawn Fawn Road border I've got this cut out as well. So this is the card base which is a standard A2 size card. Excuse me rummaging. So four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's eight and a half by five and a half when you first start out. <laughs> always have to think about that. So just a standard little note card type thing. I like that size. It fits in a lot of things as well, like when you're storing them afterwards. Um, but I make all sorts of stuff, so all sorts of sizes. So I have, this is the little backdrop thingy. This is still stuck in here, but yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that in a minute. So, um, Oh, we're gonna do it now so so the, this like paper pieces back in there so I don't know whether I want to just add a bit of color with some Copics like I did in one of the other videos I'm just gonna grab the colors I used in that and we'll just see what happens. Whoa. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a Copic marker. This is B00, so it is frost blue. And just going to flick down from the top. Very easy. Quite quick. I just want some colour in the background as a sky. But also being a wintry sky, it's gonna look sort of it's got this streaky thing going on which I think is kind of cool <laughs> hopefully you can see that just as something 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 just so it's not so bland in the back cool right sorted then I have my little trees and I think I might just take a brown Uh, this is running out of ink as well. Just kind of flick across it a little bit like that, just so it's got something again. Not being too um, careful either, as you can see. Just got a bit of something, you know. 
and like I say these are the the colors I used on the last video <laughs> so. and the road I don't know that I'll do anything with that then the candy canes and there are a few of them there's six I'm going to take oh sorry this brown was sh chamois E35 and now my camera's gonna die lovely uh, we might have to reconvene in a minute um, and then I have coral which is an R35 and I want to go every other there's like um, let me hold this up there's little embossed marks on there I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up but they're there and I can just go in between each one like so and this one just got to remember not to uh, which order you're going in <laughs> and then we have a candy cane candy cane Woo! so I'll get the candy canes done and decide what I'm going to do, but basically it's two pieces to the road, so you get the yellow, it's so cute. And then I'll be back. What I might do is actually let me stamp my images before I'll get those done in a minute. I have a piece of just white cardstock, and I will get this, these two stamped on. Right, I'm back. <laughs> so I stamped. The truck and then I put a piece of post-it note just along the top edge and then stamped the presents in the back and then just used some Copic markers to color it in super easy to do um, I then just hand cut the thing out a um, little less easy to do for me um, and a bit painful but <laughs> it's fine it looks fine it'll be fine anyway I also finished coloring in the candy canes so they're all set and ready to go so I think what we'll do is we'll start with this uh, just get my bone folder. A bit noisy. Oh. It's a bit of a, a bit of a huff there. I've just got a bit of um, temporary adhesive that I just stick on the inside of the ugh, card, uh, just to hold it in place. Because yeah, I don't want to get it all weird. <laughs> And then I'm going to use some wet adhesive. Like I say, I think I've said this before, it's just easier for me. And I do like this little nozzle um, as opposed to just the main bottle. So I just dispense it from the main one into this little thing. Um, I just find it, I have more control over it, if that makes sense. Just getting that down somewhat straight. <laughs> that works. And then just a whole bunch of it in here. <laughs> Get the sky panel in. And it fits like butter. No, is that the right? Is that the right expression? I think that is, isn't it? <laughs> it's like a little glove. It just fits right in there, like a puzzle piece. That's probably makes more sense. Right. So I have a couple of trees, like I said. I'm just gonna sort of position things roughly where I think I want them. And then, oh, I haven't put this together. Put this road piece together like so. I always have to remember when I'm um, doing my uh, live, not lives. <laughs> I have to remember to talk. I mean, that's you know. 
what I do best, but when you're on camera and you're fiddling with things like this, it's like the brain doesn't know what to do. So. Oh, it's a bit loose. Now I know that this piece fits pretty much against uh, across here. So I think I might just do like so. We'll have a tree there. This is kind of the fun bit. I wasn't expecting him to go, oh, but that looks kind of cool. I'm quite happy with that actually. <laughs> and then, whoops. What I wanted to do with my candy canes, if I can get the opposite, because I'm going to pick the same ones up, is have them crossed over. You know, like in, um, I don't know, like some, even some of my games, <laughs> like part of the decorations where you have them like that. I thought that'd be cute. So I think I'm going to get the road stuck on. Oops. down there just cuz just cuz we can I'm gonna pop him up now if you saw my last video um, I'm sure I'll do that one first I cut these letters out to use in that video and it didn't work um, they didn't fit <laughs> basically so um, I thought we might just use them here But I do like the sentiment that I chose. I mean, that does look cute. So. Let's do. I'm going to go with this still. I like this little sentiment thing. Oops. I'll just keep those for something else. Let's close this, otherwise no, my luck will block. <laughs> so before I, I'm going to pop that, this up, but before I do that I need to put my sentiment on, otherwise there's too much bulk on the card. So, let's just put this the right way around. And here's a little tip. If you're trying to line longer, whoops, longer stamps, they get a bit like wonky, right? So just put it face down. So, so you can read the sentiment onto your work surface and then you can just pick it up with your block this is a rather large block <laughs> I'm just going to go with it and I lawn form stamps are great because they line up so nicely so you can just sort of gently butt it up against the next one and the spacing's nice the spacing works out really really nicely 
be walking past my door. So I think I will just put this up here, just like so. What colour? Let's just go with like, right. And this is the same ink that I used for, um, to stamp and colour the truck and that in. Um, it's a hybrid ink, so it means that you can use copic markers with it, you can use watercolour with it, I believe. Um, but it's kind of become my go-to for, for a lot of things. So... Merry Christmas! Oh, I need to put that up. <laughs> I forgot that bit. Honestly, honestly. A long one that'll do, donkey. And that one uh, that's too long, right? And these guys now, these are just um, stamping up pop dot, no dimensionals, whatever they call them. Um, use it, whatever you have. I uh, can't remember if it's this video or the other video I've done a few today, um, where I said how. This sort of thing for me is personal. I don't want to tell you what it, I mean I can tell you what adhesive I use but I you know I think it's personal preference because something I might love and use all the time might really not work for you. So but the main products I will always tell you and even like the colours of Copic marker but again that sort of thing is is kind of personal because it's whatever colour works for you. If that makes any sense <laughs> anyway I'm just gonna put my little truck here driving along <laughs> just so weird to have it go squonk I don't normally do things like that <laughs> so this is kind of weird for me but there you go guys, <laughs> really a, a simple card, but I think it's, um, oh, I forgot it's still stuck together, <laughs> that'll just rub off, um, but super easy, and this is, com like I say, combining some lawn fawn and some honeybee stamps, um, and stamps and dyes, and so um, it's a good way to sort of mix and match amongst your different products, so shop your stash, it's always a good thing. Um, and also I have color, a colour catalogue and a like a catalogue of all the stuff that I have so like stamps, dyes, stencils, that kind of thing and that if you've glossed your mojo that's a good thing to walk yourself through and, and have a look and that's what I did with this card so um, I hope you've enjoyed this um, and I hope you've enjoyed this live not live I have no idea how long it's actually taken <laughs> so if you're still with me thank you very much um, and uh, very Merry Christmas to you, all of you. Um, this year has been rather crud, so <laughs> for many reasons, not just, you know, the pandemic and that. But yes, let's have a, a very Merry Christmas, winter season, holidays, whatever you celebrate, Hanukkah. Um, enjoy them, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.